Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Nasak. This is Johnny, who brings you an interesting weekly video to show you some free and interesting projects found online, which also you can do it by yourself easily at home at your convenient time. Just like I'm gonna present to you in this video flame project I found from GitHub. You can create it your own self-hosted star page for your server or for your web application. Easy to manage, easy to deploy. I'm gonna deploy it to the free app server platform Fly.io. Completely free, no cost at all, running 24 by 7 by 365 days. I'm gonna demonstrate it step by step. Now, let's start it. As mentioned, Flame is a self-hosted star page for your servers or for your application. It's just a collection for the links which you have. It can be used as your bookmarks for your servers or web application or anything you collected online. Previously, I had a similar project mentioned in my video using Cloudflare workers to present you a start page as well, which I'm using for my site store51sec.org. And also, I introduced the other three different dashboards Dash Machine, Heimdale, Horner. You can find out links from this video description to go to this video directly if you're interested on. You also can see all steps, links from my blog post. Now let's start to deploy it using Docker first and then I'm going to deploy it to fly.io. Using a Docker to deploy this kind of project is easiest way to do just one command and you can paste it into Docker Playground, play with docker.com and you should be able to see the result right away. So that's a very good way before you start in to thinking about deploy into your own VPS since you can test the function from Play with Docker. And it's fast and easy, and right away you can see the result. If you don't like it, just destroy it and rebuild it. So right away you can see the site is up, of course it's nothing there, but you are able to see the same configuration, settings, and you can experience all those configuration settings by yourself before you start to deploy into your own VPS. Basically, the main purpose of this video is to demo how to deploy Flame into Fly.io. I already have a couple of videos to show you how to use Fly.io. You can look at my previous video or so you can look at my blog post to see that section deployed to Fly.io, how you can use a Windows machine to deploy this kind of applications. So first thing, of course, you need to install Fly.io, the command line tool. I'm going to use a Windows machine here as an example. I already installed uh, the tool before, so you can just do the same thing using a copy paste the command line in. After that, you just need to log in. So I already installed it to the process still ongoing, but we are go to the different uh, command line to start the process. So fly already be installed. We need to log in. Depending on which account you have. You might need to log in using your GitHub or using your email address. So here I'm going to use my Git 
have account to log in so now uh, my fly CTL command line tool has a connection to it now the second command that you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna um, fry launch what you will do you will just create the uh, empty or template um, fry.tom file so we're gonna give it a name so this one we're gonna give it a uh, frame and you we check organization you should deploy to so I'm deploying to 51 sec uh, which location which server you find the like, closest one data center for you so Toronto is my location so uh, we have basic the fly.toml file and then what you will do is you're gonna add it so I already have templated on my blog to use what you can do you can directly copy the template from my blog post what I would like to do is I would just starting to change it from this standard template we created so we're gonna create a name called uh, 51 frame and uh, we're gonna have image ID and we're gonna also have a password for our environment change report to 5005 that's the internal port which gonna map into the port 80 and 443 we also need a persistent drive which we're gonna create it so we're gonna create a frame data and uh, which gonna mount it to Docker's app data folder. So that's all we need to change name, image, password, mount, and the internal port number. Perfect. Now we do fly launch. As you can tell we didn't create our volume yet so we're gonna do that we're gonna create a one gig persistent drive to mount it so it's gonna ask you where to save it we're gonna give it the proper name frame save it down Toronto now we do fly launch again we can go back to our web GUI to take a look what we have been deployed we go to the 51 sec organization we will see 55 frame has been created let's visit it perfect and we can use in settings application at the layers uh, authentication part here we have to enter our password now we'll save the password so from here we can start to customize it we can choose the thing you like we can create bookmarks search you can enable and also you can have valor but you need API key there you can have your own custom CSS if you want to change the applications just type slash applications now you can add one so let's add one you can choose icon add a new application you need the app icon here and we can add application go back so now we have our application 
you also can add more bookmarks as well. So that's basically how you can easily deploy Frame to Fly.io. And now next steps is going to use our own domain to access to it. As we can notice from this app 51 frame of fly dev the memory usage is 73 megabytes which is perfect for this situation frame project is using very less resources so considering the free tier plan provided by fly.io so this is best situation we can use this kind of project for the fly.io now one thing I do like to do is I like to use in my own domain so which is we need to add our own certificates so we just need to add a certificate what kind of domain we're gonna use I'm gonna use in frame.51sec.org we're gonna create that it's gonna ask you to create the C name And we're going to create in those records. I'm using Cloudflare to manage my DNS. So right now I don't have records. So I'm going to create the same name I could. Let's copy those value in. And save it. Done one. And then we create another AAAA record. And that's it then we check again it may take a couple of minutes to get those records validate so let's leave it for a couple of minutes and we will come back to check it again we also need our a record we need to find out the IP address which you can find out from the overview this is a shared IPv4 address. You also can put it in here. Save. Now we can go back to certificate. Now you can tell it's verified. Let's give it a try for our domain. The site is still not up yet. It might take a couple of minutes to get all DNS being populated and broadcasted. After a couple of minutes waiting, you should be able to refresh your screen to get into frame dot fifty one sector on this page. So again you will see the applications we created. You can direct click here on it and then you can open the application. You also can go to the dashboard to view the output and uh, the metrics. If you want to do some configuration, you can do settings or you can directly go to applications to add it on it once you are able to log in. So that's all for this video. I hope you got an idea how to create your own star page using fly.io and using this free project from github hope you enjoyed it give me a thumb up if you like it if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to support me leave me for any questions thank you for watching see you in my next video